Hello world. It is me again, Mr. Junk Fella. Columbus, Ohio, top rated jungle mover and dumpster company here in Columbus. Check us out on the web. And um, I'm gonna show you guys today my rig. And also I'm gonna tell you guys why why I decided to go with the with the Freightliner rather than a Mac, a Hino. Man, I was on the market for like over a year, man, looking for a hook lift truck. You understand? I definitely want to go with the 54 hook. I didn't want no 36 or anything like that. I needed it. I needed an adjustable hook. And with the with the hook that we have on this truck, of course, it's a, a 20,000 pound hook, 214, a swap loader. I like everything about about this truck so far outside of the payment, but I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, again, like I stated, I was on the market for over a year just looking for a truck everywhere. Everything was just sold out. I, I waited for several, I was on several waiting lists looking for a truck, man. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to and uh, came up on the opportunity out of Arkansas for this Freightliner 2022. The guy first was, first started talking about it. And um, yeah, I was able, I, was just, cause I flew down there. I didn't do any video about it. Just flew down there to make sure that, hey, this is what I wanted. And I saw the truck. I didn't like the price so much because this, this truck was 145,000 before tax and um i was able to pay the taxes in ohio out of pocket which was like eleven thousand and some hundred and i was able to put a down payment on the truck for um for five thousand i basically just went low ball on the truck and i try to i kept my payment for less than less than three less than three grand about three thousand even on the payment so that wasn't that bad because all I knew was, hey, once I get a truck, I only need to do 10 rentals a month because I'm a big junk removal guy. I'm trying to dabble up into the, the dumpster rental game. I'm really new at it. So even my, um, I decide when I start doing my dumpster rentals, I'm gonna be renting them out for at least a week at a time because I don't have the time to turn to turn around and pick them up immediately. I don't have that time because this junk removal money, man. The junk removal money is sweet, man. That's why the junk removal money was the vessel that that made sure that I was able to get this truck. So I'm happy about that. So I'm always gonna be a junker before before dumpster rental. Dumpster rental game. I'm learning about it, but again, I'm a student of the game. I want you guys to look at my truck and let me know what you guys think, man. Junk, if you haven't subscribed yet, man, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and welcome to my world. This is the junk fella world. Okay, YouTube, it's me again, Mr. Junk Fella. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys, uh, show you guys our brand new rig. This is our 2022 M2 Freightliner. I'll just start off with a walkthrough of the outside. Oh yeah. Of course, it's diesel. Uh, what was it? 300 and uh, this is an 80 gallon tank. I always try to keep it full. Of course, this is a new def, uh, the def system, a battery. And this is my, uh, my tarp system. It comes with a tarp. Oh, the light. I haven't used the light yet at night time because I always just haul junk during the day. So this is the, the control. Of course, the top goes all the way back. Go ahead and put it yeah. So as you can see, I don't have, these are the, the controllers, but I don't have no controllers on the outside yet. Of course, it's a swap loader, 214. This is the oil for that unit. 
And we'll come back here. I was informed to grease this unit once a month. Oh, this is a uh, this is my stoppers right here for my containers so my container won't uh, come off rollers same thing I need to grease them and uh, of course same thing over here we're on the right side of the vehicle now same stoppers on both ends of the unit 214 this came with this toolbox. It's a, it's a brand new toolbox that came with it. All I have is a pull bar and a chain. And, uh, of course, like I stated, this is a SL214. This is an adjustable hook. It's a 54 hook. It's on 54 right now, but I can also run a 30, uh, 36 cans on it. But well, all my dumpsters are uh, 54 hook. Let me show you guys this 6.7 model. This is just a quick overview again before we go on the inside. The toolbox came with a truck. Everything came with a truck that you see. Seven hundred and seven miles on it. I should just see the unit. I like this rig, man. I like it. Hello, everyone. It's me again, Ishmael with Jump Fellas. Man, I've showed you guys our trucks, I've showed you guys our dumpsters already. So far, we're pleased with the dump, with the, with the truck that we have. You know, it's an under CDL truck. And um, we basically have everything that we wanted on it. Of course, the CD play, automatic windows, roll up. You know, just the bells and whistles I was looking for. The only thing we don't have currently on it is a backup camera in the event that when we go to the landfill, but again, you know, that is not necessarily, that's not necessary, but I will get one for just a peace of mind. But anything outside of that, man, just comment below and let us know what you think about the truck. It was a, a nice investment, a hefty investment, but again, it take money to make money. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. I should have purchased this truck a long time ago when trucks were cheaper. But again, I was, I was, you know, I was very hesitant. And I paid for it because I had a truck in Finley a 20, 2019 Hino with only 10,000 miles that the, the dealership in Finley was willing to sell for 80,000, 75,000, 80,000. And uh, I, got, I got ice cold on it, you know, took my time. By the time I went back, the truck was gone. 
and I end up buying now a truck for 145,000. That's just part of the business, man. Same thing as this real estate game. Back in um, back in 09, 08, I was buying properties here in Columbus in good neighborhoods for 80,000. Even the house that I live in now in 2014, I purchased the house for 84,000. A house is on the market now for 280. So it's part of doing business, man. Early birds get a, you know get all the worms. When you show up late, you know you have to deal with inflation. But again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think of our truck. We're happy about it. We're not just happy about the price, but again, it takes money to make money. That's the game we're playing. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Subscribe to the channel.